2022 Super Aeronautique S23. Brand new boat for Nautique. Traditional nose with the underside of a G23, but stretched out a little bit. It is a it is a different boat than G23, but that is that is quite the picture right there. Very angular, very tall. Big 23 foot boat. This boat is designed to be a deep surf boat that does a lot of things really well, but it's it's really meant to honestly go directly at Malibu LSV. They want a head to head boat for that. Um, G23 kind of trounces on LSV and kind of like bring a gun to a knife fight. So S23 is matches up to it really well. This is a mystic white hull with a primary black, secondary black, and a white interior deck. White primary base on the tower with the black secondary. 30% window tint, docking lights, white chrome axe on the exterior, upgraded clamping board racks with the 8.8 tower speakers 8.8 jail audio tower speakers and then that bimini top that unfolds uh with surf rat or surfboard pockets on it let's step on the interior of this s23 and uh hear me repeat about it being brand new and then we'll have some running footage of it at the end let's come around on that transom one more time check out those seats very sharp all right let's go all right, here we are on the interior of the 2022 Super Aeronautique S23. This is a brand new model from Nautique. This, is a, this version, uh, this comes in two different lengths, 21 and 23. This is obviously the 23s as being the S23. Um, let's just go through the, the main stripe interior or just the interior theme. So we have a haze gray main interior theme with black accent, or I'm sorry. No, it's a black main stripe. It's a black main stripe, mystic white piping, mystic white uh, texture, and then black boxing. So whenever you get the, the piping, uh, it changes the piping around the edges of the seats and then on the wings on the vertical where it kind of has that um, That detail on the left and the right of the wings and then the middle is uh, Mystic white texture So we do have two things mystic white Haze gray and then black with black boxing, but the boat is black and white obviously so we did not go crazy on the interior uh, titanium sea deck Primary, oh man, I think, I always get this backwards. I think primary is white with a black secondary tower. And now it looks backwards. It looks backwards to me, but that's how they've labeled it. But primary kind of touches the deck. So that's how I try to remember that. And I'm sure if you got in the designer, I probably have that backwards. But we have a pair of uh, JL Audio 8.8 .8 tower speakers. The upgraded clamping border racks and then the uh, bimini top that has surf border racks or surfboard pockets on top of it this tower brand new for 2022 it folds rearward and actually i think i might be able to do this with my phone in the hand my hand let me say that boom done single Boom, done. All right. Get on this side and fold it down. How cool is that? Obviously, the bimini top is straight up and down. But I'm not going to. Actually, I might have to do that too. I was one handed because I'm videoing, obviously. Let's spin there. Uh-oh. 
Hey, check that out. I just fold the tower down with my left hand and I'm right hand dominant. We're about windshield height. So that is, that's cool. I mean, as cool as folding a tower down can be. Pin, pin. I'm gonna get on this side. Lift by the light. How trick is that? Obviously you can tell I'm very proud of myself. So this is the standard tower. You can get that actuated. So they uh, replace the shock in there and gets it power, or you can option to the telescoping tower. And so it's a single stage and it telescopes down um, and it works, works really well. This S23 is equipped with the ZR4 and we've done uh, testing with it and it works extremely well. Even with a load of people in it um, and extra ballast and everything. But ZR4, um, Nautik said that they did extensive test testing with the, with the boat and wanted it to work with the ZR4 standard. Uh, it has made it up to the 1.72 to one gear reduction. So we do have a slightly uh, bigger gear reduction than the GS boats, but slightly less than the, the G23s. Coming around the starboard side, we do have a lean back. Awesome. Cell phone storage pockets. We have a kind of a double layer. They call it EVA foam. They do not call it CDAC, so I'm just going to call it black foam but they've just done a little grain texture to it, just so it kind of mats to the background and it's really nice. Cup holders for 2022, it's the tiny things. We got rid of the little uh, rubber insert in there that would kind of grab everything and make it hard on a, on a Yeti or something like that. Cooler, trash can. This has the batteries in it. So the batteries on port side helps balance the boat. Battery switch. Reversible seat down port side, starboard side or port side. 10 inch JL audio sub, slide in air dam, throwable. Amps. Let's come around here. Let's see if I can describe this. I'm short. I'm like, I don't know, 5'5", five five, I'm sure, because I'm getting older and shrinking. 5'5", five 5'6", five, five whatever it is. But I can see through this windshield all the time. It's very easy to, to, to operate even when ballast is full. You can tell that the deck line drops and then drops off towards the bow. So when we get up to speed, the, might actually, let's just, let's just do a quick little here. Let's do starboard side. So I'm gonna try to hold this at my this is my face level. And we're gonna see if I'm a huge liar or not. The trick is, we're probably not gonna talk about wake size because look how deep it is. That's not very good. It does get a little deeper over here, but we're gonna take off here. All right, here we go. about my face. You can see that's kind of what I'm seeing. We 
do flip up driver's seat. There's flip up driver's seat. Now I'm still below the, wind, the windshield header bar. So this would probably be like a, I don't know, a normal sized human. Normal adult, male. Um, and then normal female will probably be about my size. Like you're, you don't get to, here's the thing. I'm sitting, the controls are at my hands. I'm not driving standing up or like some of our competition they're like oh cool look we have a seat that goes up and down yeah that's because they don't get to look through the windshield they have to look above the windshield to see over the bow there's another great picture of how the bow tapers down so anyways the driving position is really nice on the on the boat you can tell that the deck is very flat here and then it rises up and it puts the windshield on a little bit taller taller stance and then it drops back off for your visual hey we don't have a helm command this is coming back ordered um supply chain you know all those 2021 issues that everybody hears about i like this helm i like this soft material i like this uh, designers talked about how you can touch everything on the screen. They actually worked on this quite a bit. It's funny how they, um, Steve Carlton talked about uh, designing it. And they um, 3D printed a whole bunch of different things to just rest your hands here and touch different things. Uh, and how easy it is. Exit, come on. So, camera. That's how we turn things on and off now. So... Oh, that's funny. I had to speed control off. <laughs> cool. All right, in the bow. I'm not going to be a very good model for this, but I will talk about how it's long. It's a it's a good bow, and just because it's, it's kind of a traditional nose, it's not like it's different. We were in when we were in Florida. They had a bow filler cushion. You can get a bow filler cushion here, but we were all sitting sideways across it and it was good. There was three of us on the bow. It was pretty easy. It's really deep. The boat has tons of volume through the nose. And what I mean by volume is because it's so sheer that um, I'll try to do a video here at the end and having it bounce through some waves, but you'll have to be a qualified captain to actually dunk this nose um, and get it done because it's as soon as this starts going down in the water there's just so much buoyancy because it's so straight up and sheer that it's gonna be, make it really difficult to to dunk the nose it also translates into a very dry ride very dry ride heated seat heated seat heater here what else do I have? It's a cool boat. Rides extremely soft. I think I've already mentioned that. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Um, I, I Honestly, it, it's probably equal, if not slightly better than a G on a ride across the water. It's just, it's phenomenal. So that is the S23. Uh, let's see some running footage of it. 
try and dunk the nose. It's not something I recommend trying to do. That's what we're here for. See if I can actually do it. <laughs> I have an outtake where I actually dunk the nose, but it does a really good job of keeping the bow up and out of the water. 